Mattel and OpenAI. They've announced a strategic, a strategic uh, collaboration. Your toys are going to become you know, super intelligent with GPT-5. So your, your Barbie doll, your Hot Wheels. I think this is going to be a boom for the toy companies. And I mean, this is going to enable rapid, you know, early education of our kids. That's yeah. the area I'm really excited about because the feedback loop, as you have interaction with these toys, you'll learn a lot about the child and we can use that to, for understanding learning behavior, uh, guardrails that you could implement, where their motivations are. You could, it, I think it's so exciting because we'll get more data about young children than we could ever gotten yeah. before. I was a little surprised OpenAI wanted to touch this one. It, it's really clear when you're talking to the AI voices now that they're that within a year going to be just crazy engaging super, super friendly. And a lot of kids are going to prefer talking to AI all day than to talking to real friends. And, uh, you know, it, there's good and bad that comes along with that. I, I kind of, I've loved every minute of raising my kids. Uh, and I, I hate to see that change in any way, but it's clearly coming soon and it's inevitable. If it's done right, it's an educational goldmine and the kids are happy. And, you know, a lot of schools are terrible. So you're, you're alleviating, a, you know, a lot of that. So if it's done right, it's it's incredible. Uh, if it becomes an echo chamber, then you know you can see where it can go bad in a real hurry too. That's why I'm, I'm surprised OpenAI wants to touch it because uh -huh. when you start talking about kids, you cannot make a mistake, right? You yeah. got to get it right. 